day 80. 80 days, wow. Day 80 and getting closer. Waist Trimmer Tuesday. Two rounds, 13 exercises, 30 seconds each. Household items and weights are optional, but if you do have them, you wanna make it a little bit more advanced for yourself, please keep them near you. I actually bought ankle weights today, so I'm gonna be using that for one of these exercises, or maybe a few. I also found five pound weights in the store. I've been going all over looking for weights. So if you spot weights anywhere, let me know. I need 10 pounds and 15 pounds. Or probably not 12 pounds. Maybe just 10 and 12 pounds. If anybody spots them anywhere, please let me know. Hey, Megan. All right, day 80, Waist Trimmer Tuesday. I'm gonna repeat myself because I just said this, but since we're getting more people to hop on, Two rounds, 13 exercises, 30 seconds each. Household items and weights optional, but if you do have weights or household items, please have them nearby if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. Like I said before, I actually bought ankle weights, so I'm probably gonna use that for some of the exercises. Again, you don't need them. I just like to make it a little bit more challenging for myself. All right, so we're gonna start with the warm up. So set your watches, please. Set mine to core training. Okay. All right, so let's do a couple um, hip twisters here, well, rotations. I should have worn a tank top, it's hot out here. Good, couple knee to elbow. So you're gonna be doing these actually in the first exercise. So if you wanna hold weight, you can. I'm probably gonna hold a little bit of weight when I do it. Good, some hip openers. Warm up the body a little bit. Ab day. So remember what I always say. Okay, you could be doing abs every day if your diet is not right, if you're eating like crap, this is not going anywhere, okay? You can do it to your blue in the face. So I always say, abs are made in the kitchen. It's very true, okay? So just remember, I get that question a lot. Good, let's do some arm circles forward. If you're eating good, and you're working out and you're doing your cardio, your waist will go down. Good, shoulder shrugs back. I know the hardest part of the whole process is the food. A lot of people say it's the lifting, the working out. Yeah, it is, but I think the diet is the hardest part of the whole thing. Because when you want something you know, you want cookies or something? It's all about what's up here, the mental part of it. You have to tell yourself, no, no, I'm not having that. I can have something instead. Okay, couple squats here. Listen, we all have those days where we indulge, it happens. I do it too, okay? You don't wanna um, penalize yourself for it. If you have a bad day, you have a bad day. The next day, you just start over again and you just, you just totally forget about that day and you're just like, okay, I'm back on it. It happens, it happens to the best of us. Oh yeah, the drinks too. That's, that's, mostly, that's mostly it. I get a lot of people that are like, oh, but my wine. I'm like, listen, you can still have your drinks. You just gotta limit it a little bit. Kick it to your butt. Some people it's the cookies. For me, it's not the drinks. Hmm. It might be the sweets. More of the sweets than anything. Especially when I was bodybuilding, it was sweets. Always sweets. I'm like, I can't have any sweets. I want sweets all day long. High knees or march in place. And then pizza. Pizza's another thing. I always want pizza. <laughs> All right, 
Let's start. All right, so we're doing standing elbow to knee. So hands are here and like, like you're doing an overhead press. Okay, if you want to hold weights, you can. I'm actually going to grab my new five pounders that I got. Okay, all right, so you're going to bring your elbow to your knee and turn your body, rotating. All right, we have um, 30 seconds. Here we go. Right to left. Good, turn your body. Woo. Oh yeah, standing and crunching. Oh yeah. Ten. I'm gonna make the music louder. Five, four. Good. All right. You can also hold your arms up straight. Oops, sorry. Straight. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna cross your body, try and touch your toe. Okay, I'm, you can also use weight for that too. All right, here we go. Here, you don't need necessarily need weight, but if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, definitely go light. You can even use cans of beans too, guys. I didn't even think of that. Cans of beans, I don't know where my cans of beans are right now, but, any household items, if you have weights, sandbags, anything. You wanna lift your kids? I don't think you can do it with this, but good. All right, face, uh, I'm sorry, frog crunches. So you're gonna be in a butterfly position on the ground. This time your legs aren't coming in to your chest, they're just staying there. Okay, so kind of like you're doing a butterfly stretch. Legs are like that, hands are behind you, and you're gonna crunch like that. Bring the timer near me. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go, just crunching. Remember, pelvic to floor. It's so funny, I was just talking about pelvic to floor. And my favorite bodybuilder, Bailyn Bailey, did chest yesterday and she had that arch in her back. But she made a good point about the arch, but it's because she was doing chest. A lot of the power lifters have to do that. It's supposed to protect your shoulders, she said, which was actually very interesting. But that's a totally different exercise. All right, plank. Plank tap to knee in alternate. So I'm gonna put my ankle weights on. My new ankle weights. Again, you don't need them if you don't have them. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me demonstrate it first. Holding yourself actually in a hand plank. Hand plank position, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap out and then in. Tap out, but you're gonna alternate sides. All right, here we go. In three, two, I'm gonna make sure you guys see me. And go. Tap in. Other side, tap in. Oh, the pre workout's kicking in. I'm feeling the tingles. Go. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit harder with the ankle weights. Yeah. Breathe in. 10. Five. Good. Woo! Oh, those were tough. All right, V ups to bicycles. So again, I'm gonna leave my ankle weights on for this. If you don't have ankle weights, it's okay. I'm just gonna demonstrate it first. So hands are behind you. Your V up is normally in and out like that. We're gonna do a V up bicycle. So the hands are behind you. You're gonna go in and out, okay? If you can't do it that way, just do a regular V up, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So holding yourself back, taking out and in, out and in. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. Oh yeah. We got position, alternating, alternate. Ten. Five. Oh 
man, the torture. Okay, so, um, do I need my, yeah, I'll keep my ankle weights on. All right, so, on the side plank, okay? Holding yourself up on the side. A modified to your knees, okay? For all you beginners out there, okay? Knee up, like this, okay? All you're doing is down and squeeze. Down and squeeze for all you crazy people out there like me. Here, down, and up, okay? A little bit more advanced for all those crazy people out there like me. You can kick in, down, up, kick in, okay? It's up to you. There's three different options you can do. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We got 30 on each side. Down and up. I'm gonna do the kick in. Like I said, I like to torture myself, guys. Again, modified on your knees, down and up. Down and up. Woo! Again, I always modify it, so if you can't do it, I always make sure I shout out the beginners here, but they can't do it. And some of you advanced people might not be able to do it either. There's certain parts of our body that are a little bit weaker than others. All right, are we ready? Demons, you're doing this later. I just decided. All right, here we go. Because you get a little bit of legs in there. Down and kick. Down. Again, modified on your knees, and you're just tilting up and down. Squeeze that hip. Squeeze. Ten. Oh, it's even harder with the ankle weights. I feel you guys, I feel you. Four. Woohoo! Okay, we have flutter kicks next. Hands behind you. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, hands behind your butt. So support your back. Flutter kicks are these bad boys. Kind of like swimmers. All right, we ready? Three, two, one. The higher you go, the easier it is. So if you're up here, that's fine. If you're a little bit lower, it's a little bit harder. Like me, and I have weights on my ankles. Tuck your chin into your chest. Flutters. Come on, 15. Ten. Woo! Holy moly. All right. Reverse crunches. Hands at your sides, lifting your knees to your chest and tap the ground. It looks like it's easy, but it's not. Trust me. All right. <clears throat> All right, are we ready? Can you guys see me okay? If you don't see my head, it's totally fine. You just need to see my midsection. All right, here we go. Up and tap. Up and tap. So your butt's gonna come off the ground only for a, a second or two. Tap. The next one, we're doing a reverse crunch, but it's a little bit different. Ten. Woo! Remember, sinking that pelvic to floor. Good. All right. This reverse crunch is a little bit different. So you're going to be laying in that position, but you're going to be alternating sides. So watch me. Hands at your sides. Up and down. Up and down. Very little movement, but it's something. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Go. So you can lift up your hips a little bit, like a bridge, okay? Up and tap, up and tap, up. If you can't do the up in bridge position, just lift your leg up to your chest and then back down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Squeezing that butt. Five, four, three, good. Oh yeah, heel touches. So laying down on your ground, on the ground, trying to touch your heels. Side to side, chin is tucked into your chest. 
All right, we got this one and then three, uh, four more exercises. All right, here we go. Heel touches. Remember, bring your heels close to your butt and then reaching down towards your toes. More like your toes. Try to reach for your toes because your heel, you don't get as far. All right, here we go. Tuck your chin. Breathing in and out. Don't hold your breath. Come on, keep going. If you, if you feel more comfortable uh, looking up at the ceiling, you can. Whatever feel comfortable on your neck. Nine. Perfect. All right, we got Russian twists. Again, you do not need equipment for this, but if you do have it, awesome. All right, I'm gonna use a kettlebell today. All right, but you can use anything, a water bottle, anything you got. Any sort of household equipment, take advantage of it. All right, so my legs are gonna be up there in the air with these weights, so it's gonna be even harder for me. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. 80 style, yeah. I gotta move down a little bit. Whoa, regroup. The weights are weighing me down here. Find your balance. Good. 10. Woo! All right, we got sit-ups and then windshield wipers. Sit-ups, you know the drill. You don't have to be completely in a crunch position, okay? You can straighten out your legs a little bit, a little bend in your knee, hands up. You can do it whatever way you want. Hands across your body, hands over your head, whatever you want. Hands behind you, okay? All the way up, and then back down. If you can't do a full sit-up, just do a crunch. A crunch is just shoulders off the ground, and then down. All right, here we go. Go. Oh yeah. Fifteen minutes in. Almost there, guys. Twelve. Good. All right, the windshield wipers are more like a stretch. So what you're gonna do, I'll show you first. You're just bringing your legs to the side. So if you have to, support your back. I might need to support my back on this. All right, so legs are up in the air, a little bend if you want, okay? You're gonna turn, actually you can't do it with your hands under your butt, I'm sorry. Go as far as you can go, and then over. Okay, if you can't straighten your legs, just keep your knees bent the entire time. Here, and then just like that, back and forth. Okay? The key is I want you to straighten your legs at the top and then bend your knees. All right, here we go. How are we feeling so far? All right, here we go. Turn your body. So you can put your arms out in a T if that helps. Straighten out your leg, bending over slow. Control it on the way down. Control it, don't just crash to the ground. Okay, control the weight or control your body. If you're not using any weight, I have the the ankle weights on so it's a little bit harder challenging myself a little bit more good perfect all right grab your knee pull yourself up grab some water we got one more round to go Whew. how are we feeling i feel great i'm sweating Whew. I i'll tell you the ankle weights make a huge difference mm. and these are only Two and a half pounds. I was gonna get the four pounds and I'm like, mm, no. So I'm definitely gonna be using these tomorrow in leg day, especially with the inner thigh leg raises and stuff. All right, guys. All right, are we ready for round two? One more round and you're done. All right, let's get down on the ground. We're starting with, oh no, I'm sorry, we're standing. 
elbow to knee. Okay, again, you can do it without the weights. If you have weights, you're holding your weights like this, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, okay? Um, I'm gonna go with the eights this time. I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit more. Again, you don't need weights for this. All right, here we go. Back straight. Don't hunch down when you do it. Keep your back straight. Let your abs work. Breathing. 15. 10. Is everybody excited for tomorrow? Phase two. I'm very excited. The gym isn't in phase two, but a lot of other stuff, especially the hair. I'm very excited about the hair. I may be going blonde, so you're gonna see a different Danny Graz. All right, standing uh, leg to hand, hand to leg. All right, here we go. I'm gonna stay light for this one. Go. Good, cross your body. Just a little bend, you can keep a little bend in your elbow. You don't have to be completely straight. Yeah. Butterfly position. All right, so butterfly position with your feet touching. All right, your legs are out, your knees are out. Okay, you're not lifting your legs, you're just crunching. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Remember, stake that pelvic to the floor. No space. video game with a song. It sounds like a song from a video game, actually. Six. Good. All right, what do we got? Plank tap to knee in. All right, so on your hands. Whoop. On your hands. Okay, you're tapping and then in. Other side, tap and in. Okay? Three, two, one. Go. Tap. In. Tap. Like a mountain climber. Speed it up a little bit if you want. Up to you. Whatever your fitness level is. Tap. In. Tap. In. Five. All right, we got the V up to bicycles. V up position. Okay. If you want, can you up? Yeah, if this is a little bit more modified. If you can't do it up, with your elbows. It's a little bit easier that way. All right. Three, two, one. For my beginners, especially. All you advanced people that have been with me for a while and can actually do this stuff, you better be doing it the right way. Modified version on your knees, okay? All you beginners are have to modify it down and up, okay? Um, regular way would be regular plank, all right? Down and up, okay? If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, down and up, knee in. All right, here we go. Three, two, 
One, 30 seconds on each side, down and up. If you can't do the knee in, just do the up and down with the hip. All right, if the up and down the hip's bothering you, just hold the plank in this position. On your knees or on your feet. Stack your feet. Oh yeah, 10. side guys again if you have to go modify go modify okay, three two one go <clears throat> down and up <coughs> Flutter kicks. Flutter kicks, okay. Hand on your butt. Flutters. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> Tuck your chin into your chest, or if you feel a little bit more. <coughs> Freaking pollen. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Five. <coughs> All right, we got reverse crunches, <coughs> regular, <coughs> laying on your back, hands at your sides, knees to chest. Go. Knees and tap. <coughs> if you need to support your back, you can. when you bring your knee to your chest. <clears throat> Alternating sides, go. So it's kind of like a bridge and a knee lift. Good, down and up. Up, down, up, down. It's kind of like we do the one-legged bridges, except you're bending your knees. <clears throat> Five. Almost done. Good. All right, heel touches. Laying down flat. Okay. All you're doing is reaching for your toes or heels. All right, if you feel like your neck's bothering you, you could look up. You can look. Change the chest usually doesn't bother my neck, but everybody's different. If you can't lift your neck up, if you have any neck issues, you can do, because um, you're not going to be able to do it, you can always do alternating sides or you could do oblique crunches, okay? If you can't, if you can't move your neck like that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Windshield wipers. 
for a Russian twist. You don't really need anything, but if you have something to twist, you can. All right, I'm gonna use the 15 again. I just gotta make sure that I set myself up because my legs have weights on them, so I'm all discombobulated. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Set yourself balancing on your butt. If you can't do it balancing, keep your feet on the ground. Find a focal point so you don't fall over. And cross your feet if you want. Ten. Good job. All right, we have sit-ups and windshield wipers. Sit-ups. Here we go. So again, if you can't do a full sit-up, just do a crunch. All right, here we go. Just turn your body back and forth like this, okay? Good, perfect. All right, guys, that was two rounds. 30 minutes, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch a little bit. Quick stretch here. How we feeling? Okay. So first thing I want you to do, spread your feet out. Okay? Interlock your hands over your head. Coming down. Oh, the music stopped just when we started stretching. Wow, oh, talk about perfect timing. Good, bring your feet together. Okay, come halfway up to your shins. Okay, arch your back, come back down. And then you're gonna come up, bring your arms over your head again. Okay, spread your feet out, tilt to the left. Tilt to the right. Good, all right. I did a little bit of hip flexors in there, so I wanna do the hip flexor stretch on the ground. So we're gonna get in kneeling position. One leg back, one leg forward, okay? <clears throat> pushing the left leg forward, pushing the right hip forward. And keep your back straight. Go to the other side. Good. All right, let's do a child's pose. So knees as wide as the mat. Okay, sitting on your heels, arms in front of you, tucking your head in between your arms, sitting back on those heels, breathing. Job today. I have to say this 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 ab day was pretty awesome. I gotta repeat this one. All right, downward do facing dog. Again, hand, head between your arms. Good. All right, walk your feet up. Good. All right. 
Let's do uh, last thing, walkouts, and then we're done. All right, so you're gonna walk out, kind of like an inchworm, walk your hands out, okay? Bring your left foot up, turn your body, bring your foot back, bring your right leg up, turn your body. Good, now walk yourself back. Feet together and slowly raise yourself up. Relax your shoulders. Slow, slow, slow. One vertebrae at a time, as my yoga teacher would say. And then push your shoulders back. Good. All right, guys. Day 80 in the books. Whoo! Tomorrow is leg day. So be prepared. Definitely, uh, you're probably not going to need any weights, but I know, <clears throat> like me, I want some weights or some bands or even ankle weights near me because it makes it a little bit more challenging for me. Um, <clears throat> all right, so tomorrow's leg day. I'll post the workout tomorrow morning or later tonight. I'm probably going to be going live, what's tomorrow, Wednesday? I got to check. Probably 10, 1030. I can go because I have to go to my parents tomorrow. So I have to do it early, but I think on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's going to have to be at 12. So I hope that's okay for everybody. I know you could do it any time of the day you want. All right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy this humid day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay fit, stay active, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.